Guys, so now that we have worked on most of the clusters of five for the fourth round, so now we're here. We're gonna insert the left string through those two adjacent beads and also to the one next to it. And we're going to close our fourth round by selling up with one bead. So now we're going to work on the fifth route, which is the cluster of four around. This is the clusters, or this is the round that separates the head from the body. So in order to do that, we're going to put first uh, two yellow beads on the right string, and then we're going to sneak up with the yellow bead. So now we have that and then we're gonna insert the left string through this one adjacent yellow bead and work on clusters of four around by putting one yellow bead on the right and selling up with the yellow bead and we're just going to work on it around putting clusters of four so that is once again inserting your left string through this one adjacent bead and then putting one yellow bead on the right and then steady up with the yellow bead. And just work on clusters of four around. So now we have that. Work on clusters of four around and I'm gonna catch up with you right before I close it. Okay? Hey guys. So now we have worked on most for the fifth round, which is the middle round of this project. Uh, now that we're here, we're gonna close the fifth round by making the last cluster of four. Insert your left string to this one adjacent bead, and also the one on top of it. And we're just gonna sneak up here with one yellow bead. So you may have noticed that the string is getting shorter now so what you can do is we're going to insert the first end first through a series of beads inside of the project so as to fasten it just insert it through a series of beads uh, for about two inches and that's what you're gonna do with the other end too Insert it to a series of beads to fasten it off and we're gonna use another batch of string and the second batch of string that we're gonna use is approximately one meter in length plus one palm so that will be enough for the remaining of this uh, the remainder of the body part okay just make sure that you don't put any, uh, you do not insert string here because here's where we're gonna put the snout part, okay? Okay guys, so now that we have hidden both ends of our string, we can now cut it and put another batch of string where we left off. So just insert your string through the last part that you have worked on and then we're going to work on a cluster of five next for the sixth round cluster of five so what you need to do is we're gonna put uh, three yellow beads on the right string and then we're gonna sneak up with the yellow bead and since we have put another batch of string we're going to align both ends sneak up here Align both ends, slide that one bead so that it will go to the rest of the beads making sure that your right and left string is similar, is of similar length. So now that we're here on the sixth round which is the starting of the body, it's just like a reverse of the head. So we're gonna start with the cluster of five next. So now that we have started that, we're going to insert the left string through this one adjacent bead. 
work on another cluster of 5 by putting 2 yellow beads on the right string and then salikop with the yellow beads. So now we have that, the second cluster of 5. So we're just going to work on clusters of 5 around by inserting the left string through this one adjacent lead, putting 2 yellow beads on the right, and then silico with the yellow bead. And you can work on it on your own. By now, just insert the left string to this one adjacent bead, put two beads on the right, and then silico with the yellow bead. Work on it around, and there should be 10 clusters of 5 around, and I'm gonna catch up with you after that. Hi guys, so now that we have worked on most of the clusters of 5 around for the 6th round of this project, now we're here in the last cluster, so what you need to do is insert your left string through this one adjacent bead and also the one on top of it. And we're gonna form the last cluster of 5 for the 6th round, so put one yellow bead on the right string and then silic up with the yellow bead. The next round, which is the seventh one, is composed of clusters of six all around. So now that we have closed this, insert your left string through that one adjacent bead. And here is where we're gonna form a cluster of six. So put yellow, three yellow beads on the right string, start it off, and then salik up with the yellow bead. And we're just gonna work around clusters of six. So that's, this is the start of it. So insert your left string through these two adjacent yellow beads. We're gonna put uh, two yellow beads on the right string and then silico with the yellow bead. And that's what we're gonna do around. And there should be 10 clusters of 6 around. So once again, I'm gonna show you. Insert your left string to these two adjacent beads. Put two yellow beads on the right string. Salik off with the yellow bead. And then you can work on it on your own. And I'm gonna catch up with you right before we close it. Okay? Just work on it around clusters of six. Okay, so now that we have worked on most of the clusters of six around for the seventh round, we're now going to close it. So what you need to do is insert your left string through two adjacent yellow beads. And also for the one on top of it. And then we're gonna put uh, one yellow bead on the right and then silico up with the yellow bead. And then we're gonna form the eighth round, which is an alternate between a cluster of six and a cluster of five. So for this part, we should make it uh, similar to the first, or uh, similar to the uh, second round. So, since the second round is starting with the cluster of six here, so we're gonna align it to the first cluster of six for the eighth round. We're gonna insert the left string through this one adjacent lead. And just like from the second round, we're gonna put a cluster of six first. So just make sure that you do that in order to in order for the other parts to be placed in a certain position or in the correct position. 
So I have put three yellow beads on the right string and salik up with the yellow bead. Okay. So now it should be aligned to this second round here. So the next should be a cluster of five. So insert your left string through two adjacent yellow beads. We're gonna put one yellow bead on the right first and then salik up with the yellow bead. And just alternate between cluster of six and cluster of five around. So, the next is going to be a cluster of 6. So, insert your left string through two adjacent beads. And then, form a cluster of 6 by putting two yellow beads on the right. And then, salik up with the yellow bead. And then, it will go or it will fold inwards as it should. So for the next one, it's a cluster of 5. Insert your left string through two adjacent beads. Put one on the right string and select up with the yellow bead. Then a cluster of 6, a 5, 6, a 5. And then I'm gonna catch up with you right before I close it, okay? Guys, okay, so now that we have alternated clusters of 6 and clusters of 5 around for the 8th round, we're now going to close it. So, the last cluster should be a cluster of 5. So, insert your left string through these two adjacent yellow beads and also the one on top of it. And then, we're gonna close it by salik up with one yellow bead. And then, we're gonna work on the ninth and last round. So, now that we have this, as you can see, I hope you can see it better or... Yes, you can see it. The string is coming out from this one bead here on top of the cluster of five. So what you need to do is we're gonna insert the left string first through this one adjacent yellow bead here, and then we're gonna insert the left, the right string to the other bead on the other side, so that our string will be coming out of from three beads. And here is where we're going to form a cluster of 6 by putting two yellow beads on the right string and select up with the yellow bead. And this ninth round only has 5 clusters to it, just like the first round. And it is composed of clusters of 6. So now that we're here, we have made the first cluster for the last round. Insert your left string through three adjacent beads. And then what you need to do is, we're going to put one yellow bead on the right string and then select up with a yellow bead. So now it will fold inwards because it's now in the bottom part. So, insert your left string to this two adjacent or three adjacent beads. Put one yellow bead on the right string and then salik up with the yellow bead. So, now we have three clusters of six now. Insert your left string through three adjacent yellow beads. Put one yellow bead on the right and then select up with the yellow bead. So this is gonna be the fourth cluster of six. So now for the last cluster of six, you're gonna insert your left string through four adjacent yellow beads. That's one. Three and four, and here is where we're going to select up with one yellow bead. Okay, and then we're just going to tighten the string, passing it through a series of beads. So the bottom part should should have this cluster of five here, just like the way we started it. So we're just going to fasten off or 
uh, insert our string so as to tighten it around this cluster of five and then pass it through several times so as to tighten it and fasten it off making it sturdy and then after passing it through a series of beads to tighten it we're gonna cut the string okay okay so now that we have finished the head and body part it should look like this you can see there are two spears that I connected with the cluster of four and the next thing that I will show you is how to work on the hands and the feet part of this bear so please do check that out next